City's man who spent 30 years traveling the country to pursue his passion is now bringing that to people along Lake Pepin. Anyone can go hang gliding along the bluffs just an hour and a half south of the Twin Cities. Jason and I got the chance to go soaring with the Eagles. Dave Dibson knows how to make an entrance. Hi, gang! Hi. He spends most of his days thousands of feet above the Mississippi River in Lake City. You cannot really <laughs> describe the sensation and the feeling one experiences when you're hang gliding. It's impossible. That's why Dave started Eagle Hang Gliding, to give others the chance to fly with the Eagle. Today, it's me and Jason. This is a perfect day. We couldn't have hoped for a better day. It's beautiful. Woke up this morning and went, ooh. Dave's hang gliding tours are unique. Instead of jumping off a cliff, we get in the air Minnesota style by boat. I'm going to tow up in front of it. We'll tow up to a high enough altitude that when I release, I have enough altitude to fly back and get to the ridge. Okay. The hang glider is specially equipped to fit the back of the boat. This feels great. Shoulders are okay. Oh, hey. Once we're safely harnessed in <laughs> and try to like move ahead, <laughs> the boat takes off. in the air. We tow to 2,000 feet before we're flying free. The ridges along Lake Pepin are perfect for hang gliding. That the magic is staying aloft without an engine. As the wind blows across the Mississippi, it rises once it hits the cliffs. That rising air is our playground. Just flying free, unrestricted. Perfect for hang gliding and for those who can fly on their own. So we'll be seeing things from bald eagles to turkey vultures to red-tailed hawks to peregrine falcons. Bald eagles flying right alongside us. They're very used to us. When it's time to land, hey, it's an easy glide back down to the water. And even for two people who rarely run out of things to say, it's hard to put that feeling of flying into words. That is wild. That's unlike anything I've ever done before. <laughs> that was amazing. That was absolutely amazing. Yeah, we had some cool. Oh my gosh. That feeling of like of being at one with the sky and birds flying all around. It's awesome. <laughs> it was awesome. Yeah. Uh, there are two packages that they mm -hmm. offer. You can spend 15 minutes in the air, kind of a shorter flight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You mostly stay like you go up and then kind of float a little bit. Uh, that's $150. We did the half hour experience where you really get to ride the columns of air up and yeah, down. Yeah, and, and that was pretty cool. It was it? really neat because you learned, like we learned about in school, like when you get the air and the rising air, but it goes in the cliffs and then you literally are just going alongside, you catch the air again, you go back to the other. It's, it's such an experience. And that's $250 mm -hmm. for that uh, package. I will say the experience can be different, just uh, it's sheer luck. Right. Yes, so Kylie went up see. first. And you only, you saw like one eagle. Yeah, right? I saw one bird, which was, I mean, it was still really cool. We were eagle. right above That's it. That's awesome, right? Yeah. So when I went up after her, uh, I think I saw about six or seven eagles. Oh. How, how close do they get? They were, they're not, well, I had two eagles right below us. Oh, so you you're did? you're looking below it. You're like, whoa, they're yeah. right down there. And then uh, as we were kind of riding the columns of wave in between two bluffs, we went down the columns of air and then came up. And when we came up, it was like, an eagle playground. There were yeah. like seven of them Ooh. up there just hanging out. We saw that from the boat. We were like, whoa, there are just yeah. eagles all around. They're very used to him. He's, he's out there all the time. Scariest part for you? Hmm. <laughs> 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 Fear of heights. So yeah. this was like a very difficult thing for me to do, but it's the towing up that I thought was a little scary. Once you you're up there, it's fine. All the way up to 2,000 feet. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty high. Quickly. That's high. Uh, it takes about 10 minutes, I'd say, to get like fully oh, okay. five. Well, you're the, do yeah, I have that right, or is that, is that my Ten terrified minutes is mind? A little, <laughs> but the, basically, you have the length of the lake where the boat keeps towing you, okay. and up you and go, then once and you're, then it releases. And once you let go and you're floating, it's actually pretty nice. Okay. Yeah. All right. Good.